Most people know Tyrese Halliburton as a rising star because of his great passing. He is second in assists behind James Harden this season with no signs of slowing down. So today I'm going to show you how Tyrese Halliburton uses his basketball IQ to dominate the game. While Halliburton is known for his passing, the way he moves defenders with his dribble to score was the first thing that stood out to me. Here, Neesmith comes off for a dribble handoff and White is in the middle of the floor to help out on a potential drive. When Neesmith passes, Halliburton knows that White is anticipating a drive to the right, so he gives a quick crossover to his left to keep White off balance and he gets a wide open three. The Pacers run a back screen for Halliburton to float to the corner, which gets White slightly behind him. As he recovers, Halliburton gives a quick right to left crossover to get White off balance and finishes with his right for the and one. The reason why this is so important is because basketball is such a fast paced game. In any split second that you don't make a move off a rotation turns into a stagnant offense. Here Tatum kicks the ball out to Grant Williams who rotates it to Pritchard. Poole's feet is positioned for a Pritchard drive to his left. I believe Pritchard wanted to go right but because of his slip, Poole can recover much easier and now it leads to a kick out to Tatum and a contested shot over Wiggins. And it's even more impressive when the Pacers are allowing a 22 year old to make these split second decisions all game in the half court and transition. In the half court, one of the main plays that Halliburton needs to make quick decisions for is the stack action, also known as the Spain pick and roll. So here, Halliburton runs the Spain pick and roll and he's assessing multiple things. First, he's looking to see if the Celtics are switching or trying to hedge and get back. And the other guy that's part of this equation is Grant Williams. If he sinks, then the pass to the corner is open, but if he's hugged onto Neesmith, then a potential pass to Turner would be open. As the play starts, Rob Williams looks like he's hedging and waiting for Brogdon to recover. Grant Williams sinks to defend a potential lob pass, and in the next frame, Rob backpedals and Brogdon is a little lost, so Halliburton knows he has space to shoot it and makes the three. Now, if you look at the game clock, Halliburton is running through all this in his head in basically two seconds, and this is the type of speed you need to process the game at to be in the league for a long time. This time down, Halliburton runs the stack action and Brogdon fights over the screen, but he sees a potential mismatch with Heald and Robert Williams, so he passes it quickly to create the switch, and a simple drive into the paint turns into a dunk for Jalen Smith. In the third, the Pacers only have 8 seconds and the Celtics are icing the ball screen, so Halliburton takes the open lane. With Horford focused on Halliburton, Brown takes Jalen Smith, which means Horford is on Nemhard. Now the right side of the court is open, but to make sure Tatum doesn't have a chance to help in that area, he looks at Jalen Smith, which gets Horford's head turned and freezes Tatum for a split second to get a layup for Nemhard. And again, looking at the game clock, all of this is done in about 3 seconds, which is amazing cognitive ability. If you want to process the game as fast as Tyrese Halliburton, then you need to watch more videos like this and also drink Athletic Greens. Today's video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. If you want to get quick nutrients to start your day right, then AG1 by Athletic Greens is the nutritional drink you need. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a nutritional supplement that helps with energy, endurance, immunity, and recovery. It's an all-in-one powder with 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients especially serve to help you absorb key nutrients in order to create a healthy lifestyle even when you have a busy life. I started using this product a few weeks ago since I wanted to figure out a way to get nutrients in the morning without eating breakfast and it's helped stimulate my brain to continue focusing throughout the day. All you need to do is take a scoop of powder and some cold water and mix it together to make a great drink. Tap my link in the description below to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase. If you notice in that last stack play, Halliburton rejected the pick which created that layup for Nemhard, which was a critical theme in this game. For some context, the Celtics wanted to ice the ball screen, which means forcing the ball handler to reject the screen and take the open space. The idea is to allow the big man defending to help on the ball handler's drive and recover back to their assignment on a pass to stagnate the offense. Because of this, Tyrese had to figure out how to create space in a different way or make his defender fight over the screen and the Pacers were able to do both. 
The way he was able to create more space was to use his crossover to act like he wanted to use the screen. In transition, Heald setting a screen and Brogdon jumps out, which prompts Halliburton to use a quick right to left crossover to get Grant Williams as his matchup. On the next ball screen, he does the same exact thing and he drains the three. On the stack action, Brogdon jumps out again and Halliburton uses a crossover to drive into open space. Because Rob has to make sure Halliburton can't get an easy layup, Turner can cut from behind and he gets a dunk. For Halliburton to get his defender to fight over screens, the Pacers would use dribble handoffs. The Celtics tend to switch these dribble handoffs, which meant now with a head of steam against a switching defender, Tyrese could get the defender to trail him and make plays out of these actions. Here, Halliburton starts in the corner and he runs to receive the dribble handoff. And look at how much space is between Brown and Halliburton, which makes this action easy to run and he's able to find healed in the corner for a three. In transition, besides LeBron, there might not be another person you would rather have running a fast break besides Tyrese Halliburton. There's a reason the Pacers have been first in fast break points this season, and it's Halliburton's ability to make defenders look foolish. The key to doing so is using his eyes. On this fast break, he looks at Heald who's in the corner, which makes Brown run to him and Nemhart is wide open for a layup. Next possession down, Halliburton gets White moving by faking a pass to Heald and pulls up for an open three. Five minutes later, Halliburton sees Turner cutting, but he also knows that Brogdon is going to sink to cover Turner, so he looks at Nemhart to get Brogdon moving, which creates a dunk for Turner. Now sometimes, Halliburton will push to see what matchups he can get as well. Here he has Grant Williams on him, and he gives it to Turner before a simple brush screen gets a matchup with Robert Williams on him. From there, it's pretty textbook. He knows Williams likes to jump, so he throws a pump fake and then drives before using the rim as protection for a layup. But before I end this video, I feel that it's important to mention to people who are especially looking to improve their game that Halliburton doesn't always make the right decisions. Like here, he gets a switch with Hauser and he wants Heal to cut, but he waits too long and a double team ruins his vision and the Pacers squander a possession. Sometimes, he'll do these no look passes and it will lead to a turnover, so it's not like he's perfect in these areas all the time. And sometimes, Halliburton won't necessarily be in the right position and his teammates will help him out. And on defense, you can hear a Pacers teammate say, which sounds like the teammate sniffed out the action and he's telling Halliburton where to be, which is under the basket. It turns out Brown was cutting to the basket, so Halliburton being there actually blew up the play. And so my point here is that even though Halliburton is a smart player, it doesn't mean that he won't get help from his teammates or he doesn't make mistakes. It's not a knock on him, but just an important life lesson. And so if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Besides that, hope you're having a great day and see you guys next time. Peace.